When designing your indexes, you want them to be as selective as possible. Now this is a concept that is really no different than the world of relational, but when you're choosing a compound index, if you don't choose something that's selective, then there isn't a lot of value to, to specifying that field. So I mean, here's an example. Let's say you were doing some logging and there were only three different types of log uh, operations. There was, a, there was a save and there was a, an open and a run. I'm just imagining logging operations you might see, and a put, and a get. And we had hundreds of millions of these logging operations, and each of them has a date and a time, right? Or, or let's say a timestamp. So, you know, would you rather have an index that was the timestamp, comma, the opcode? Now, were, the, were these are the opcodes. Or would it make sense to do the opcode, comma, the timestamp? Now, the answer is that it would make a lot more sense to do the timestamp first. And, and the reason is that if you typically know the range of time you're lo that you're looking for an operation and you specify it and you specify an opcode, well, there's only five of these opcodes. And so by specifying one, you're only eliminating four-fifths of the data. I mean, there's a tremendous amount of data that you, that you still need to, to go through. And if you just had an index on opcode, for instance, it wouldn't be a lot different than doing a full collection scan. Whereas if there was an index on timestamp comma opcode, and you did know the times uh, when you wanted to query the uh, the opcodes, you know the, the time interval, then it would be pretty fast because it would be a very small percentage of the total log, and uh, and after that, once you, once you narrow it down by you know 99%, then searching for the opcode would be efficient, and there wouldn't be that many operations in that time interval. And this idea of trying to choose. A, an index with selectivity is universally true in databases, it's true in relational databases, and it's true in MongoDB. So just keep that in mind when you're creating your indexes that you'd like to have them be very selective uh, if you can. Otherwise, there's just not a lot of value to having them. If you just want to search on just the opcode, well then, you know, fine, but it's going to be almost all the data every single time you look at it. All right, so time for a quiz. And given the following attributes of automobiles, color, weight, manufacture, and odometer mileage, which index is likely to be the most selective, provided you can provide all four attributes on a search? So which of these is going to be the most selective to narrowing down the number of automobiles?